You see, my son here, okay, then, has found love among your daughters. And he has come to make his good intentions known to you. Mm. Uh -huh. I have a change of it. Your Majesty. The gods bless me with uh, beehives of beautiful girls and maidens alike. Yes. So, which of them is your son interested in? Um, your Majesty, yeah. it is Princess Adore who has caught my eyes. Ah! And also <laughs> stolen my heart. <laughs> May the gods be praised. Yes. 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 Um, God. Your Majesty. Uh, please, God. Tell Queen Agatha that I seek her presence at once. Yes, Your Majesty. Right. Uh, uh, so, how is everybody over there? Uh, we are still trying to uh, get the dividends of democracy <laughs> for our people. Yeah? Well, everybody will get it. Yes. Everything good will come. That is it, Your Majesty. Uh, uh, just a few seconds. Guards, uh, please go and bring some refreshments. <laughs> You know, I can hear you. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Baloo. Greetings. Oh. Greetings, Baloo. I have visitors. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. This is your chair, Jofo, and his son, Ekene. Um, his son here, yeah, Ekene, is interested in Adu. And I said, let me also put you in the know. <laughs> My king. Yes. Their intention towards our daughter is a nice one. Oh. Yeah. However, we need to discuss with Adure first before oh. we consent to their request. I agree with you. Um, it's your job. Your Majesty. As an annual commander on above. Um. You will go. When we finish discussing with our daughter, then we will send for you. But be positive. <laughs> be positive. It's all right, Your Majesty. We will wait. It's okay, Your Majesty. I will, we will await your invitation. Eh? Uh, whenever you think it uh, time enough to uh, we'll come. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, you yeah, people yeah. just have to relax. You know, I sent the guy to oh, 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 oh. for many minutes. All, right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank thank you. Thank you. Mm. I'm, I'm scared, the king. Shut your mouth. I asked you to dance, you don't say no. Will you just come here and rock with me?
not here. What have you turned my palace into? Can you stop? Stop that music. What have you turned my palace into? I'm only having fun. What do you expect? I mean, what is all this nonsense? You are practically desecrating my palace and you have the guts, the infantry to ask me questions. Are you out of your senses? Why won't I talk back at you? While all you do is to break my happiness. It irritates you so high whenever you see me happy like this. I am only trying to make myself happy in this primitive area of yours. What is your problem? Happy, give me my phone. Give me my phone! Excuse me! And what are you doing here? According to the custom and tradition of our land, we ought to seek your permission before we accept anything from them. Mother, are you the one seeing this? Why are we wasting time? Mother, I love Ekene so much. And I can't wait to live with him. I can't. Sis, I think you, you should slow down with this whole thing. I don't like the manner with which you're going about this whole marriage thing. And it's not as if there's something special about that Ekene of a guy. I don't understand. I beg your pardon. Excuse me. No, I, I don't get it. Why do I feel this sense of jealousy? Jealousy? How can I jealous you when my money is in all ramifications better than yours? Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That half walking dead, retarded, homosexualized boozaga? That imp? I would not have you insult my man in that manner. Excuse you! Mom, please, warn her because I won't take it. Warn me? What has come over you too? You are same blood, same sisters, from same womb. You ought to live in peace, not this banter. I don't like it. Adore, you should go and inform your father that you have accepted so that the marriage can commence. Mother, please, let us go at once. And as for you, kids, sis, I'm not dragging anything with you, not at all. All I am just trying to do is take over from where mother stopped. She has gone through a lot to build this empire. And I can't just let it slide away just like that. May we please? I'm sorry for raising my voice with you. It's okay. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you finding it difficult to understand simple things? Huh? Seriously? Are you asking me that question? You want to insult me in presence of your subject? Huh? Dude, come on now. No! Leave us. Okay, my king. Better. I am sick and tired of all this entire drama. You are getting on my nerves, Jordan. And I have told you countless times to cut off the people of Obudu Kingdom. Stop making yourself a commoner. Stop! Making myself a commoner, you said? How am I making myself a commoner? Have you forgotten who I am? The daughter of the senator. You, I am not a commoner. You denies your royalty by mingling with those commoners. Oh, there he goes again. Why are you behaving irrationally? Are you serious? I am behaving irrationally just because I am socializing and mingling with people. I don't blame you because you will not understand. In politics, it is called grassroots politicking. How will you even understand? You don't know anything. Let me tell you. He don't segregate any human being on earth because before God, we are all equals. For your information, 
my parents were not able to stop me from catching my phone. And you will not dare try it.
Nice. Do you want to carry her? Uh, um, yes, I asked. Did you tell her uh, to get the room ready? Okay, Daddy, I'm sure they have they've prepared it. Oh, have you finalized with the doctor? I did. Um, she still has a couple of uh, okay, checkups. Routine check. Yes, but the doctor said she'll be here at, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three hours right? to get her checked. So we don't need to go back. She's okay. You've done normal. Let me take you to your room. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. You're good now, right? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Um, Daddy, you're so worried. <laughs> Let's see if we came to know how our queen is doing. Yes. Yeah? <clears throat> Others of my cabinet. I must commend all of you uh, for always coming to share concern. Well, uh, the queen is still uh, going uh, through examination. Uh, the doctor is already here to do some routine check on her. I believe that um, when she comes out, uh, we will know the situation as it is. Your Majesty, there is no cause for alarm. She will pull through. Of course. Our queen will pull through. Of course. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes um, Your Majesty. Exactly. Very interesting, you your say to us. And uh, we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about the case of uh, uh, <coughs> Waf? Um, I, I think it's, we are resolving it. We are resolving yes. it. Yes. Resolving it. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 yes, she is. Yes. 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 Go. A piece of good news. I told you. She will pull through. A piece of good news. Yes. Thank you, daughter. Do well or do more. Do more, please. May the gods be praised. Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but just uh, when you need, you can so that we'll continue this process.
Mother. Iye. Iye. Are you sleeping? Are you, are you sleeping? Can you hear me? I just finished speaking to the mortuary attendant. My king. For how long are you going to stay on this image? How long? I can't believe that my Olama is past. Something very dear to my heart is just gone. I feel so empty. Same here. I feel the same. Honestly. I do remember she was a good queen. Loving and caring mother to our children. Loyal and respectful. I feel pain. But what can we do, my king? We need to move on. I can't. I can't. I find it difficult to get along with this. It's so pity. So unfair. The universe can offer you but one life. All we need to do is to make sure that she gets a befitting burial. She'll always be deep in our hearts. I feel for my daughter, I can't believe. She too is not finding it easy at all. My king, you don't need to bother about her. I'm here. I am now her mother. I'll make sure she will never lack. She will remain a happy lady 
all the days of our life. I'll make sure of that. Are you sure? Trust me. Come. You look so weak. I need to make you relax. Come with me. I'm Billy, my daughter. Yemi. You have made this royal family so proud by graduating with first class. <laughs> it's not easy. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> my mother, it's not easy. Oh. <laughs> like seriously, you're thanking me. Yeah, mommy. Of I have to thank you. For what? I have to thank you for graduating with first class. You've made us proud. Thank you very much. Mother. After all the money you and father spent sending me to school, mm. the least I can do <laughs> is to graduate with the first class. There are children out there who their parents spent some money, millions of naira, and after spending all the money, they, they return to the house with nothing. Mm. Well, I am my mother's daughter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So, my intelligence is from somewhere. Mm. And I think it's from one very beautiful woman. Mm. She's light skinned. Oh, wow. And I think she's wearing green. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, mommy. Well, I also want to thank you. Mm -hmm. For coming through okay. for this royal family. Okay. And being who you are. Okay. It is not easy. You keep thanking me today. I will keep on thanking you because I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you today. I'm a proud mom. Eh? I'm glad I made you happy, you and dad. Thank you very much once again. Um there's another thing. I have a little surprise for you. Hmm? A little surprise. I said little. Not, it's, it's not big. Yemi, what are you saying? I said I have a little surprise <laughs> for you. <laughs> you want Mother, to guess? I know, I know you. See, nothing is ever little. When you say, hey, your little can be so big. Your little mommy. Mm. Hey, you have a surprise for me. Where is it? Uh, like I said, it's little. You don't know what it is. <laughs> it's little, but. Oh my God. Do I have an idea already? Guess. I don't know, like changing my phone. I don't know, like what? What's Just it? Keep guessing. Anyway, <laughs> Wait, let's go. Let's go and change to something better. Something, you know. Ah, mommy. Yeah. I have to change to something else. Yeah, of course. Including me. Let's go for this surprise. I have a gift for you. I know. Give me a next call. What? I told you. 
even wanted to give me like the latest iPhone, but now I don't know. This looks like. What do you think I like? No, mommy. I mean, all of this is you have to dress up. I've been wearing heels for an iPhone. Mommy, I doubt. What's going on? Tell me. Yeah, I'm done, princess. Honey. Is daddy a surprise? Okay. Okay, so what's going on? <laughs> Okay, so I mean, at this point, I think I like, could. Mommy, hold on. Oh, well. I think I should close my eyes so that everything just, you know. Where your mommy is calling the shot. Okay, so my eyes are closed. Okay. You better surprise me. Of course. Okay. Come, Billy, my daughter. Yes, mama. For graduating with the first class. Okay. And for making this royal family a proud one. Mm hmm. I have this for you. Open your eyes and open your pants. This is for you. It's a Benz. No! Benz! No way. Mom, stop it. Dad? Yes. Stop! I can't. No, this is a joke, right? Oh, I'll be. A Benz! Yes. A Benz. <laughs> Graduation present. Can you can you believe it? Oh, that that got you a Benz? He got me a Benz. <laughs> yes! Wow. I'm a Benz owner. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We will celebrate this, but for now I'm pressed. Let me. No, no, it's fine. Take your time. We are going to drive around town. I'll take you everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wish. I don't know what to do. The peace to man. Who should I hug first? Of course, miss. Of course, miss. Yeah. Ah. Mommy. I'm not jealous, though. Mommy, you make me want to cry. Then they want to cry no. right now. I'm so proud. Hey, so is your mom. <laughs> I have a best. Yes. I have a best. Wait, wait, wait. Mommy, mm. how do you even know that this uh, uh, is my dream car? Of course, you always uh, say it. I will. What am I still doing here with you guys? I shouldn't be here. Please, I'm not giving you the right to my car. Kids with kids. Hey, Uleko. 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 Hey! My princess, you have cried too much. Abale, Roger, be true to me. My princess, please, you have to stop crying and eat something. You have not eat or drink anything, please. You have to. I don't want to eat anything. Just look at your hair. You have to freshen up so that you can change your hair, please. I am not leaving this room until my mother comes back. She has to explain to me the reason for all this. She has to come back. She has to come back. My princess, you can't question God for taking out our loved one. Please, you have to stop crying, please. You can't console me. You can't. You're not in my shoes. I should not know how it feels. My princess, please, you have to have faith in God. Faith? Yes. Did I, did I just hear you say faith in God? Yes. In God? Oh, well. I don't have faith. And I don't even need faith. All I need 
It's my mother. Ah! I want my mother to come back. My princess, your mother will not be happy to see you like this wherever she is. Please, you just have to stop crying, please. <laughs> How long will you continue like this? Denying yourself food, drink, and keeping yourself in isolation just because we lost your mother. We are brief together, been going through the pain as well. But you need to be strong like like I've been trying to do. Okay. I know it is not an easy road. It's okay. Can be restored. No. Daddy. I do not understand this. I I do not understand the concept of death. I do not understand how somebody will be here. And the next minute, the person is no more. And you, you're trying to convince me to accept the fact that my mother is never going to be here. Again, it doesn't make sense. Cameron. No! Uh, this is not making any sense to me, Daddy. Even if you can make it make sense, because I do not understand it. Cameron. I do not understand. It's okay. No! You see? This is mystery beyond our comprehension. And it is only the gods that have the power to think like this. I want to ask you something. Would you want me to go to my bed one day and uh, from there I just pass on? No! So you need to be strong. No! Daddy, please don't say that again. You have please, to be strong. Please, please don't say that again, Daddy. It's I beg okay. of you. It's okay. No, no. I know one day <laughs> we'll see your mother again. One day. Yes. And I mean one day. When? When? <laughs> you mean she has refused to take her bath since then? Yes. And she actually refused to be consoled. Yeah. Huh. Now, wow. Her death came to me as a shock. It was a shock to all of us. She was a queen with a heart of gold. She was kind-hearted and loving. I won't forget the money she gave to me on my birthday. Oh yes, I witnessed it. She actually made your birthday a fun fair. Hey, have you all forgotten that he asked and pleaded with the king to increase our salaries? She did that even when Queen Agatha was against it. And he heeded to her advice. Hey, I don't think Queen Olama died a natural death. Shoo! Hey, leave me alone. We should be mindful with our words. Don't you know that wars have ears? Please, though. I don't want to wahala. So... Let's just go back to our disciples. Hey. Better. Hey, bye. Huh. She's pregnant without her dowry being paid. You know the consequences. And that will rob the name of this kingdom. Your name to the mud. Yes. That will drag my name to the mud. But first, she should have considered those consequences before opening her legs for Ekene. My king, don't talk like that. She's our child. And you know how the children of these days behave. But think differently. We need to do something about this. The funeral can hold. Let's do the traditional marriage first. Agatha, I am briefed. I am mourning my wife, Olama. 
Is that not enough requiem already in the palace than to start these chariots? We are all bereaved. She was my co-wife. We loved each other. The moment. Respect the moment. So what I about... do not want you to say anything further. Apologies, my dear. I beg to take my leave. Your Majesty, we got a letter from Orun Bakendo. Regretly to announce and inform us the sudden death of uh, their queen, Olama Okonkwo Alfred. That's quite painful and sad. Anyway, we will send our condolences. Yes, Your Majesty. We will go and express our sincere condolences because that has been the culture between their community and ours. Your Majesty, Ichie Oka is right. Our kingdom and the Urumba kingdom have a strong treaty. And you remember, it was uh, their king that crowned you the king of Obudu kingdom. <laughs> Your Majesty, where is this foul order coming from? In this palace? Guys! Who is smoking this nonsense here? of you looking at me like that oh now I know is it because of this my spiritual stick and my holy water I'm so sorry I didn't know that you guys are still here thought you had left Hello. your majesty in a hey me you have done your take care so our queen is a Rasta queen Queen in New York for that matter. Hey! Aru Mekwa. Annie, you told me you were going to the mall. Did you actually leave this palace dressed like this? Oh, yes. You know, I actually needed some fresh air in the right places, you know, hobby. Anyways, I was at the balconies. I'm here to go out. And what's going on? And you're smoking weed again? Bora, this is getting out of hand. Chineke me. She even smoke. Not even cigarettes. But marijuana. You know, old man, I don't only smoke, I take snuffs and inject substances, all right? <clears throat> oh, my elders. This meeting has come to an end. I need to put my home in order. So I, I, I apologize for any inconveniences this might have caused. We will reconvene later. You can go now.
Annie, you have insulted me. You have embarrassed me in front of my cabinet. What have I done? I didn't just smoke because the elders were here. I was doing this to help myself. I was only catching my cruise. I made a mistake picking you as a queen. You lied to me. You told me you've stopped smoking. You told me you've stopped doing drugs. You told me you've quit alcohol. And here you are doing all of them all over again. I should have known that beauty is nothing compared to character. Honey, you are shameless. How dare you speak to me like that? Do you know who I am? Or you have forgotten I am the daughter of a senator? You have no right to demean me like that. And how dare you talk to my brother in that manner? I think your parents didn't give you a better upbringing. Maybe your friends and your, 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 your helpers did. Maya, you are so disrespectful. How dare you, Maya? Did you just mention my parents' name with this filthy mouth of yours? Oh, yes, I did. Oh. And what is going to happen? You never knew how reputable my parents were. And you dare speak about them like, what is wrong? What is wrong? Is that okay? What? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Huh? Hey, hey, hey. What is wrong with you? You. I am going to get back at you. You do not stop at you. you. You are doing nothing. The next time you try this, I am going to deal with you. It's okay. Nonsense. It's okay. Hey, clear this table. They can't talk to... Oh my God. No! It's not ended yet! Your Majesty, we are here to condole with you on the death of your second wife, Vinodam. You see, the, the, the news came to us as a root shock. A root shock. It's a bitter pill to swallow, honestly. But please accept our condolences, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, please accept our sincere and heartfelt condolences. And I pray the gods give you the fortitude to bear this irreplaceable loss. It's okay. I want to say thank you, Mazi Jofo. I welcome you and your son once again. Well, um, it's not um, an easy road like you earlier mentioned. Well, the gods of this land is already consoling all of us in this uh, trying times. And who are we? We must bear the pain. Uh, my son, my daughter told me of your plan to come and do the need for. Um, I don't know Whatever if you have... The plan you have has to wait like we already discussed over the phone. Of course, Your Majesty. You see, as a widower that I am and um, uh, considering the circumstances surrounding this event, I uh, understand your situation. I feel with you. And I'm ready. In fact, we are ready to wait for the date you will fix for this event. We are ready to pay. I thank you for understanding, Mazel Ojafo. Until then. How dare you, Annie? What has come over you? How dare you fight my sister for telling you the truth? What is wrong with you? So you are taking sides with your sister. So you want to support your sister and forget about your wife. Hey, 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 listen to me. I was there. You attacked her first. I saw everything. For heaven's sake, what is wrong with you? Look at the way you are dressed like, like a cheap prostitute on a day you know I'm meeting with my cabinet members. What is wrong with you? Just hold it dead, Queen Jordan. You are insinuating that I... How dare you link me to a prostitute? Do you know what you're talking about? I am who I am. You have forgotten who I am. Don't you relate me with that name again. You know what? I am sick 
All this nonsense you call marriage. No, we are not compatible. I don't even want to in the first place. In that case, choose between being a wife, oh. and a queen for the people of Obu, and me. No, you don't need to move further. Ending it here and now. I want to become your queen. I don't.
for your mother? Yes, God. I did. Hmm. Gambri, you need to pull yourself together. Your absence, you know, on the palace, daily domestic activities have left friends far and near asking after you, and you know it's not too good. Ah, oh, Dad. I am still, I am still praying for the soul of my late mother to rest in peace. Well, as you know, this, this is brand new to me, okay? And people mourn differently. I just want to be here in this room. I don't want to go anywhere until the day my mother will be given a last respect. People should respect that. I just want to be alone. Gambri, I want you to get up, freshen up, okay? Your mother was a peaceful woman. We need to be strong together because your continuous grief is bringing my spirit down. So brace up with me so we will be strong to give your mother the befitting burial that she deserves. Dad. Yes? I do not have appetite for food. Well, I'm still going to continue to pray for my mother's soul. But I will start by eating fruits while I pray. Well, if that is what you want, uh, I think I'm okay with it. It's okay. Dad. Yes. Dad, do you think? Do you think someone killed my mom? No. Oh no. Uh, your mother was a peaceful woman. Uh, I mean, we have been living, you know, as one united family, and so we shall continue to live in peace. Okay. Oh, the tears again. No. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not crying. Trust me. Trust me, I'm not crying. I'm not. I'm not crying at all. But I'm just. I'm just thinking. You know, I've heard a lot of stories about how good people die. You know. And I'm forced to want to believe that someone might have killed my mom, maybe because of her bubbly spirit and beautiful, happy aura. I mean, who knows? Well, that's me just thinking. Yeah. Is that? I want to tell you something. Your mother's death was caused by high blood pressure. Mm. I mean, it was uh, a public notice. Everyone knows about it. I mean, no one could have possibly killed your mother when I'm still a king. I want you to be consoled, bearing in mind that her spirit is resting in the bosom of the gods of this land. Okay. We are crying again. No. No, no, no. I'm strong. I'm not crying. I'm strong. I'm not crying at all. I'm strong. I want you to be strong with me. I'm strong. Maya, you don't expect me to get married to a random girl just because she's from a royal family. Brother, you are a king. You heard what the head has said today. You cannot keep residing on the throne 
after 90 days without a queen. So you really need to. Now you understand our customs and traditions. So tell me, what do you suggest I do? I think she's the right one for you. Maybe you should set a date and maybe talk to her and see how things work out between the both of you. Maya, you have a way of pushing me. Honestly, brother, she really needs to try it and make it work. I don't want to make another mistake. I understand you. But I promise you with her, she's your final bus stop. Thank you. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless the thou amongst me. And bless us the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and our hours of our death. Amen. Amen. You're praying. You're praying without telling me. Come, give me the chocolate. Now go, let me help you in this. You can leave. Shut the door. Why would you be doing this? Mama died for all of us. Oh, Emma. Holy Mary. Hail Mary. Full of grace. Full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Bless the Lord among women. And bless is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for all of my soul. Now and for the hour of our prayer. Pray for the soul of all of us. <laughs> Pray for all of us. Father, you brought us from nothingness to existence. Your offer to love is so much that we cannot comprehend. Do not let the soul of full of man and the souls of all departed to suffer. Give them eternal rest. Don't let us suffer because of our death. <laughs> disturbing my father with test, test messages and calls. What for? I have to formally inform your father that you're no longer with me. Oh, do you really have to tell him that? You don't have to tell him that we are already separated. I don't need to be here. This is just a cage. I can't be here. Annie, you sent a divorce paper. I will sign it. You've not signed them yet? And what have you been waiting for? Just sign the divorce papers and set me free from this whole nonsense. I am warning you, don't you ever disturb my father or any member of my family at all with your nonsense calls. God, I don't want to see that mentally deranged woman 
anywhere in this palace ever again. Am I clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, listen, my son. Eh? I want you to relax your mind. Akufecha or Dalao, eh? What are you? The princess is yours. Obadure. <laughs> uh, there is nothing anybody can do about it. The king has given his consent. Uh, so all we have to do is obey the king and um, wait until after the burial of the queen. We move in and um, do the needful. Eh? <laughs> Papa, Papa, I am trying. The thing is that Princess Adura keeps heaping pressure on me. And she, she's always pestering me. Papa, can you imagine she stopped taking my calls? That is a child's play. Forget about it. Eh? Wow, fen kufu. You understand me? Forget about that, eh? Uh, there's nothing to be worried about. Eh? After, after she realized that uh, her father's uh, uh, instructions and uh, words supersede every other thing. So forget about all that one. It doesn't. Uh... Okay, I'm trying, but it's, it's just that I, the pressure is becoming unbecoming, and I don't even understand her anymore. It's, it's, it's too much. Disregard the pressure, eh? <laughs> Disregard it. Uh, look, unless uh, there is something she's not telling us, eh? Uh, disregard it. Oh, uh, Papa, I don't know of any, but if there is any, I'm going to find out. I will do my best to find out. Uh, uh, just... You know, she's a princess, and um, <laughs> these people have not a war. Uh... Not again. What is it? Who is that? It's the queen. Hello, um, Your Majesty. I cannot delete your queen. I thought you love my daughter and want her to be your wife. Why are you handling the marriage issue nonchalantly? Yes, of course. I, I love your daughter, Your Majesty, and that is why I propose to marry her. So, what is stopping you to come do the need for? What? You just came do the uh, introduction by saying your intentions and vroom, you disappeared. Listen, my princess is no longer happy with you. Uh, uh, your Majesty, it, it's the king. He, he asked us to take some time uh, uh, and, and wait till after the burial of the queen. So, my husband now determines when you marry. Is that? Um, Your Majesty, it's, it's just that we have to wait till after the funeral, like the king suggested. You don't tell me that. Okay. You are now telling me that the funeral is more important than my daughter's happiness? Ekene, remember that you've started this marriage process before the death of Queen Olamma. Need I remind you that my daughter is a princess and will someday be the queen and the husband, the king? Yes, I'm aware, Your Majesty. Listen, I just hope you don't regret this. Because this attitude of yours is obviously telling me that you're not qualified enough to be my daughter's husband. I need my son-in-law to be a great man. One. Who is not a push around? Think about it. Hello? Hello? What? Papa, me, I'm not understanding all this pressure anymore. Like, she's just pressuring me. I don't understand all this. This, this is actually becoming unbecoming. Papa, I'm, I'm tired. She's getting her daughter to make you go against the wish of the king. But it's not going to happen. You know? Yeah? It's becoming scary. Uh, Relax. The pressure is too much. I I just, listen, forget this. Relax. You, you can only do the right thing, okay? Uh, go and uh, bring that uh, that one you told me about. Uh, the one the... <laughs> okay, everyone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Let me get it uh, to To relieve the pressure. I'll be right back. Uh -uh. Thank you. Your Majesty, I think. Um, 
we must try very hard to extend a special invitation to them. It's all right. Good. Ah, uh, I foresee the presence of the state government. Considering the fact that you have good uh, relationship existing between you and the governor. That's right. Yeah, so, I think uh, you are... Your Majesty. Yes. Um, the Princess uh, Aduri is about leaving the palace. What? Yes, with Kamili's car. Tell her that I need her in there. Your Majesty, please calm down. Take this easy. Can you imagine that kind of carelessness and carelessness? I placed an order that nobody should leave the palace until after the funeral. But look at what she's trying to do. And the worst of it is that it is their mother that is aiding them. I understand all that, Your Majesty. But I humbly suggest you watch your heart. You give yourself a lot of problems. Allow these children. They're still very young and energetic. You may not survive the heat. Though. Can you imagine if it was for the guard? This girl would have just seen with, with, with the car. Just allow her be. Let her go. Leave her. Let's talk about some other things. Well, uh, yes. Let's talk about better things now. That's hmm? by the way. So, were you able to streamline our contract with Umeze people? Very well. Exactly. Oh, you you, you oh, met with well. the, the, the town hall and the other chairman who called himself Face Person. What is it now? Why would she want to go out with Princess Kambili's car when hers is not 40? Wait, though. Are you the one asking this? Don't you know that she wants everything? Blue, red, white. That girl, she's never satisfied. Though. Look, see that girl? I don't like her at all. She is not worthy of the Grand Princess. You can imagine when everyone is mourning, she's leaving the palace. I beg go. Oh, her character is just is pissing me off. <laughs> Hi, Ichi Amandi. Hi, miss. <laughs> Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. You are welcome, Your Highness. You know, it's not everybody that you will call and they will answer. Thank you for being a royalist. And such people deserve to be acknowledged. Thank you, my wife. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome, Your <laughs> Highness. How is uh, the king doing? Oh, perfect. Yes. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, let me not waste um, much of your time. From my investigations, I realize that your king, his royal majesty of your community, listens to you more than a lesson to any other cabinet members. Am I right? You are right. Absolutely right, my queen. Okay. In that case, um, you know, it's not everybody that you will summon and they will come. You are a royalist. So you deserve a token. Just... <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> my queen, mm. all this for me? Yes, for you. Thank you, my queen. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Thank you. It's your Monday, it's nothing. If you will always comply to my summons and do my biddings, more will come from where this one came from. Like I said earlier, I would not waste your time. I want you to speak to your king, His Royal Majesty, to come for my last daughter, Princess Somachi. I want him to come for her hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. Isn't she beautiful enough to be a queen? <laughs> well, they say royalty seeks for royalty. If you would do my bidding and make him come, Ma will come from where this one you haven't came from. 
See, you're not just going to be only Ichie Amande henceforth. You will be counted as one of the millionaires among your people. A millionaire. Not in words, physical, and in doing things. Name the thing, and you will have it. Um, Ichie. As you can see, I am beautiful, educated, and outstanding. Most importantly, I am every man's dream. Your Highness. Yes. Consider it done. Good. <laughs> I am a cheer, Amade. I will definitely convince my king to marry your daughter. My princess, Ichi. consider yourself the next queen of Obutu Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> My princess, you are indeed a beautiful queen. <laughs> you don't have to mention it, everything I'll do for you because you are my daughter. Everything for you, darling. You are the best. Ichie, thank you. <laughs> well, finish up your drink while I ask one of the drivers to drop you off. <sighs> wow, this place is quite amazing. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's um, more like it. Let's, let's stay here for a while. Oh, thank you. You're welcome once more. <laughs> thank you. Like I said, your palace is quite amazing. I mean, the serene is pure. Thank you. <clears throat> so, tell me. How have you been coping without a queen in this palace? Well, it has not been easy. You know, the presence of a queen in this palace, even as a companion, can never be overemphasized. <laughs> but like they say, the king doesn't cry in public. Oh. In other words, you're trying to tell me that the king cries in his closet. Well, more like it. You know, I'm trying so hard not to make mistakes. I understand. Same thing with me. My sister told me you are single. I mean, a beautiful princess of your class. It is quite strange. I didn't really go into details with her. But let's just say I had my own failed relationship. Do you care to share? I mean, mm. talk more about it. <sighs> he wasted my time. The love and care that I gave to him, he took it for granted. And the worst part of it is that he betrayed my trust. That is quite sad. So tell me, what is your, your dream man like? My dream man, I want a decent man. God-fearing, understanding, and above all, rich. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm joking. <laughs> so about, do you think there is anybody in this world with such qualification? Of course, they still have good men out there. It's just that the good ones always fall into the hands of the wrong ones. Right. Well, um, why not take your call? Please. It's my mechanic. I asked him to come check the cars before I left the palace. But he came when I already left. I insist you take the calls. At least tell him to call back. Yes, hello? About the cars, right? 
I'm sorry, I already left the palace. I'll call you back, please. Thank you. Satisfied now. Much better. <laughs> so, you know, um, my king, yes, your attention is needed. Okay. My princess, just give me a minute. No problem at all. Are you aware that Adura is going out with King Jordan? What? What do you mean, what? I said it to you countless times that Adura do not care about me. She says she's in a relationship already with him and she has forgotten about Ekene. But that can't be possible. But it is possible already. It's happening an hour very before. Mom, you're not saying anything. Mom! So much. Let me think. My princess, you look good on this guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Princess, please, as you are going to the mortuary to see your mom, please be strong. Don't cry, please. Don't worry about me, okay? I'm not going to cry. And please tell her to pray for the peace of this kingdom. Promise me you'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay? I'll be fine. Look. I'm a strong girl, okay? I am going to be strong. And I thank you so much. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for your words of encouragement. You're welcome. It's okay. I'm strong. Okay. I'm happy you're strong now and you're happy. <laughs> 